Right, hi everyone. For this video, we're going to be touring the Zoltus Advanced Communicator Unified Communication Software and taking a look at its uh, desktop tools uh, along with the Unified Communications capability of the product. The Zoltus MX platform is one of the platforms that helps power the Voice One Enterprise Edition Cloud and the Voice One Contact Center. Yeah, Voice One Contact Center and Enterprise Edition are very popular for organizations that are looking to take advantage of uh, integrated team collaboration, unified communications, and today with this video we want to take you through some of the highlights of that desktop tool. Now as always you can check out more information at www.accentvoice.com and uh, our YouTube channel as well where you can subscribe for product reviews and demonstrations, how to set up videos and general industry topics. So let's get into the uh, Zoltus Advanced Communicator software or ZAC, Z-A-C for short, and see what it does. Okay, so we have the Zoltus software here, the ZAC software, and you can see I'm logged in with my user ID, Chris Cameron here. And uh, this is the compact profile of the ZAC interface, but it has a couple different views. If you'd like a little more expanded profile as well, that's available by just hitting this uh, little expansion icon right here. We can switch to what's called full screen mode. And full screen mode has some benefits that we're going to get into here in a few minutes, but primarily we'll be working in compact mode right here. So the Zach software is a, your standard unified communication client that can function as both a soft phone or be associated with a physical desk phone. Today we're running in soft phone mode, but it's very easy to associate it with a physical desk phone, whether it be a Zoltus phone or a generic SIP-based device as well, if you're bringing your own device to the Voice One cloud. So the soft phone mode enables Zach to act as an actual phone. So I would be actually making and taking calls directly from my PC. I'm running on my Surface laptop today. Uh, any PC or laptop would, uh, with the you know today's specs, would function just fine. Uh, Zach is also fully touch enabled as well, which means that the layout and the design uh, favors a touch interface as much as a point and click interface with the mouse as well. So we recommend Surface tablets or any other type of touch interactive device. Zoltus does have a mobile application which run, can run on Android and iOS tablets and mobile devices. But we're going to be focused today on Zach. And this is the Windows version. We also have a, a Mac OS version available as well. So being a soft phone or even when I'm associated with a physical desk phone, it's very easy to just um, call up somebody's number and quickly be able to you know, quick dial or call that person directly. The call went to voicemail here because uh, Steve's not, uh, phone isn't available at the moment. But here you can see I'm in a live phone call and I've got this call actually, uh, the ability to manage it so I can hang this call up. Uh, I can mute it. I can uh, call up the keypad add another call, transfer the call, place the call on hold, or even park the call as well. I'm going to hang this phone up, but uh, just as an aside here, park is a really unique feature that a lot of phone systems unfortunately don't support anymore, especially cloud phone systems. But a lot of customers really like park functions because it gives you the ability to place that call in a park slot or holding on a line. And then somebody could go to any phone in the organization and pick that park slot up or pick up that line. So a lot of times our customers, our cloud customers, will actually use park slots as lines and a customer might be holding on line two. That's actually park slot two in the Voice One cloud though. Some of our customers refer to those as lines. So that park emulation or that park functionality is actually kind of unique for cloud providers today. All right, continuing on with the Zach client. Uh, down at the bottom here, we've got our navigation tools. So just going to highlight uh, some of the navigation functions. We've got our bu buddies function here, which allows me to have quick access to uh, different people on the uh, phone system that I want to stay connected to. Again, these are just uh, inter-organizational users. And I can see their status by a status icon here. Now for my buddies window right here, I can just move to the recents 
uh, tab, which is really my call history and call log, and you can log, and you can see you can click on uh, any of these uh, call entries, and you can interact with those entries. So I can open a chat with this person if they're an internal user, or I could call this person directly, and I could even see further information about the uh, the call and also any recent files that were shared with that person. So we'll get into team collaboration and file sharing here in a little bit. Skip over the dial pad. We can go to voicemail here where we can see that I've got some uh, voicemail messages and I can scroll through and take a look at any of these messages and actually click on them. And I can call that person back, forward this to somebody, mark the, the call as read, reply to this person's message, play via the bound phone. So there's an idea of what uh, physical phone my extension is bound to. That's generally going to be your desk phone. In this instance, we only have a soft phone, but if I had a desk phone, it would play via actually the desk phone. And then save this message and download it as a WAV file. Of course, I can play the message as well right here with the play icon or delete it. I'm just going to delete this message right here. Now, the second row of uh, functions here, contacts. These are actually contacts that are either in the phone system directory, which you see right here, or imported from Outlook. And this is a good time to discuss a little more in depth Zach's Outlook integration functionality. Uh, it's pretty nice. Now I can actually click on Outlook right here, and I'm able to see all of my Outlook contacts that are imported from Outlook into the Zach tool. Uh, and I'm not going to drill too deeply into those contacts because Obviously, I want to maintain people's personal privacy. Those are my real Outlook contacts, actually. Uh, but uh, bringing those Outlook contacts in, and that allows me to dial people by name right out of Zach and uh, have a much tighter integration with actually Outlook as well. Uh, I can even dial out of Outlook if I wanted to, which is pretty, uh, pretty powerful. It's really nice to enable that function as well. It's very easy. I can just click the uh, options here and go into settings. And enabling that is as simple as a checkbox here for Microsoft Outlook Contacts and Microsoft Unified Communications. So Zoltus actually makes it very nice and easy to be able to integrate directly with a very, very widely used program such as Outlook. I don't know what would be more widely used for desktop email. I mentioned that park functionality previously, and actually right here, if we have any parked calls in the system, they would actually show and stack up right here in the park slots and allow you to retrieve those. Now groups are also teams, so team collaboration is a very big part of Unified Communications today, and Zoltus is no uh, uh, different there. The groups function allows me to be a part of a group or a team and actually collaborate with and uh, chat and share files and do other things with those teams. So actually click right here and I can see my group chat between several individuals. And I can do things like send a message. It'll even allow me to share files. And also uh, change different information about the group itself, so I can change the owner, do other things, delete the group, mute notifications, even add members, etc. If I expand out the view, and this is one of the areas where switching to full screen mode isn't, uh, or might be a good idea, I can actually have multiple chats simultaneously managed right here and very easily accessible. So you can see here in the uh, large window those groups actually flip back and forth and I can manage through multiple chats simultaneously. Could even start an audio conference call with all of these folks if I wanted to right out of the collaboration window. Now faxing is uh, still pretty popular in uh, communications today and uh, Zach actually has the ability to receive faxes and send faxes right into the application. Now, faxing has to be supported by your provider, right? So in the uh, if it's an on-prem Zoltus phone system or even out of our Voice One cloud, we do support some level of cloud faxing. It's best effort. So it's not 100% guaranteed like a traditional phone line would be, but it is best effort faxing. And generally, if it's a basic fax, a couple of pages, you have no problem sending it. 
I can actually receive that fax right in. I can view that fax, manage it, send it on to another person, delete it, etc. I can also queue up a sent fax. You can do that right here where I can actually prepare a fax and then send it to a destination. I'm going to switch back to compact mode for this last piece. It's just conference call management. So I can actually schedule conference calls and manage those calls directly out of the Zach client. I've got one right here, which is a conference call. And I could start this conference call and actually open up this conference bridge for other people to join. I could edit the call and its details, or I could even reach out and invite folks. So if I want to invite someone, I would actually invite them via uh, an email here, and they would actually receive that message, and then they'd be able to call in to the conference uh, with the information provided. I hit that link twice. If I wanted to schedule a new conference, just hit the schedule button, an ID is generated for me automatically, and then I can change the details about this conference specialize them or, or customize them to my criteria and then that allows me to save that conference if I wanted to and either use it one time or on a recurring basis as well finally one thing we didn't hit on in the beginning of the video is the presence and you can see here my presence is currently available so everybody else in the phone system can see that I'm at my desk, I'm available to talk or chat, do whatever's need be. Uh, we've got a couple of different presence modes uh, that um, the Zolta system features and I can even type a customized node for a custom presence if needed. And presence is becoming more and more popular today to see who's available, who's away, etc. And it's got some customized functionality available as well where if I'm in certain presence modes, uh, via the more options functions here. I'm in certain presence modes. I can actually you know, tell my phone or my extension to do different things. All right, so that was the Zoltus Advanced Communicator Unified Communication Software. Hope you appreciated the walkthrough. And uh, if you've got any questions, you know, please give us a, shoot us an email. You can email youtube at accentservices.com. You can also go to our website, accentvoice.com, where you can Check out our Contact Us forms. You can also subscribe to this channel, like it as well, or drop us a comment below. Uh, we appreciate any feedback. Um, if you're interested in the Voice One Cloud Contact Center or Voice Run Enterprise Edition as well, you can check out our, the, and more information about our, those products on our website. I want to thank you for your interest in watching the video today. See you soon.